5. Write the nuclide notation, including charge, if applicable for atoms, with the following characteristics. And then we have our example here. So we have to write a nuclide notation with 97 protons, 146 neutrons, and 97 electrons. Okay, so the first thing is, what is this nuclide notation? Well, I have a template for you. It's very colorful, and there's potentially a max of four different boxes, and here it is. Voila! Um, doesn't look like much right now, but each box has its own place. These always have to be on the left side. The, this little box has to be in the upper right-hand corner of this thing, right? So let's just take it from the easiest one, right? The easiest one is this big blue box. This is where your element name is going to go. Now, when you're doing nuclide notation, we don't actually write out the whole entire word. We only use the symbols, whether it's Fe, Co, Ni, Cu, Zn, whatever the element is. But the first thing is, how are we going to know what the element is? Well, each element has its own distinct whole number, right? In every upper left-hand corner of my periodic table, it's increasing by one number, right? Don't look at the don't look at the decimals. We're only looking at that whole number, right? And those whole numbers are your atomic numbers. These are the atomic numbers, and they're the number of protons. Aww. Now, the atomic number is the number of protons, right? And turns out that the atomic number is one of the other three boxes on this little schematic here. And the atomic number is always going to be put on the bottom of these two boxes. So on the bottom, we have the atomic number. And just like we said, maybe what I can do, let me just pull this up here. Atomic number, we will guide this over here. And the atomic number is the number of protons. They did say that we have 97 protons, so a big 97 is going in this box right here. Now, we look on the periodic table to find out where number 97 is. And on this one, right, we don't see a 97 because it goes from 88 to 104. The 97 is going to be in your actinides. So if you have a periodic table right out in front of you, you can see what number 97 is. It's going to be in your F block all the way at the bottom of the periodic table. I just didn't put the F block because usually nobody cares about them. But in this case, we do care. But I can tell you that number 97 is berkelium, which is BK. Brooklyn. I just went to Brooklyn this past weekend. Uh, awesome, awesome time. So, very fun. If, if anybody um, gets the chance to visit, you know, New York City, if you haven't, if you're not from uh, the New York region, uh, definitely go check out Brooklyn, better parts of Brooklyn over others like Dumbo, um, beautiful, beautiful place. And obviously Manhattan, there's so many different places to go, but highly recommend. So anyway, Brooklynium, I guess this is uh, named after University of Berkeley but I could be mistaken. But anyway, let's keep going. We have two out of the four. Let's now work on the top number. The top number is for the atomic mass. And the atomic mass is the bulk of the mass of the atom, which comes from the nucleus. Now, what are the subatomic particles that are in the nucleus? Well, they're protons. And the good old neutrons. Electrons are not in the nucleus. And EU trons. Remember, the electrons are orbiting, kind of like the solar system, they orbit around the nucleus. So they did tell us that we have 97 protons, ooh, 97, plus neutrons, we had 146. So we just have to add those two together. Uh, let's see if I can potentially do this in my head. Three, four, two, two, four, three. And I just need to double check just for silly mistakes. But three and a six is 
13. That's where the three comes from. That's a 10. That's a four. That moves over one. So 246. That looks good to me. 243. 243. Okay. Three out of the four done. Now we just have to address this little box in the upper right hand corner, which is the potential charge. Now the charge is when your positives and negatives come together. So we just have to know which particles are positive and which are negative. Now P for positive, P for proton. Protons are always positive. And in this case, we have 97 positive subatomic particles. So we're coming in, we're coming in hot with the plus 97. But now, neutrons or electrons, which one are the negatives? Yeah, you're right. The electrons are the negatives. And I got 97 for that as well. So I got minus 97. So we're battling it out with 97 protons and 97 electrons. So plus 97 minus 97. What is the overall charge here? Yeah, a big fat zero. So this is actually a neutral atom. And remember that all the time that if your protons equal your electrons, it's a neutral atom, which means that you will have no charge. So what you can do is you can leave this out, right? You could put a zero here because that's what no charge is. It's a big fat zero. And maybe I'll just bloop. Goodbye. Um, but let's see. That looks good. But anyway, the rest for this question is all done. So you have three boxes for this. No charge. So nothing in the upper right hand corner. Um, but you have PK, 97 on the bottom, 243 up top. And maybe I'll just pull this over. There we go. And that's it. I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. I look forward to helping you with more questions. Check the membership out. We just released memberships. Uh, so if you want to be a member, you can. Uh, thank you so much. And I will talk to you in later lessons. Have an awesome day. Keep studying hard. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.